Welcome to our tutorial on working with documents. There are several ways to get started on a document, including opening an existing document, creating a new document, selecting a template, importing a Visio file, and choosing an example from the community library. To begin a document, click the New Document button on the right side of the screen. A menu appears displaying a number of options. These are organized by standard templates that are built into the system, my templates or personal templates, and shared team templates if applicable. Documents can be further sorted by categories and subcategories. If you want to start a new blank document, simply click the blank template. As an example, we'll say that you've been assigned to create an organizational chart for your department. Choose the organizational chart category, click the Apple Org chart template, give your document a name, and click OK to get started. Now you're up and running. Let's jump back to the My Documents window. To import a Visio file, it must be in the VDX format. VDX files can be easily exported from Microsoft Visio. Click the button on the right side of the screen and select the file you wish to import. Click Import VDX File. And now give the document a title. Finally, let's try one more method to starting a document. Head back to My Documents and then click the Community tab. Community examples are templates that have been shared publicly. They are sorted according to whether or not they are featured, their rating, and other categories. Click on one that looks interesting. Then click Use as Template and give the document a title. Let's go back to My Documents. Once you've started a document, it becomes automatically saved in My Documents. Documents are saved in several categories on the right. All documents list any document you have created or have access to. My Documents list documents created by you and are therefore yours. Personal and team templates are also accessible. We hope you've enjoyed the tutorial.